Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Catamol Diaries. I'm your host, Captain Betty Man FM, and I welcome you to this Football Manager 20 long term save where I take VVV Venlo all the way from the bottom end of the Dutch division to the very top of European football, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Right. If you've not been with us since we started this, well, where have you been? We're now in season number five. And we have once won the league a couple of years ago. We're on track to do it again, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. Things have taken a mighty turn since last time we were together. And let me show you how the fixtures have gone. And I'll show you what's coming up in this episode. Well, if you remember, in the last episode, we beat Feyenoord in the league. And then we beat Ajax in the semi-final. It was a massive, massive episode. It just shows how far we've come now. We're taking on two of the big boys of the Dutch football. And we've gone and brushed them aside. Well, we had a little bit of a bad patch, if you remember. Just before the games against Feyenoord and Ajax. But since then, we have gone unbeaten in the league. And things have gone rather swimmingly for us. We went into a game after the Ajax semi-final against A. NAC Brada and we walked out with a 2-0 victory, a Riyadh booster and a Pershaws again on the score sheet. We then followed that up with a 92nd minute equaliser for Wilhelm to give them a point. Should have got the three points from that one but it wasn't too bad. Then we came back to our home ground, not our actual home ground and we got a 2-1 victory after going 1-0 behind to a Jaden Braff goal for FC Untracht. Riyad Brewster, there again, the king, scoring a double on the 32nd and then on the 70th minute to get us the victory. Then we finished off March with a 3-2 win over FC Groningen. We were 1-0 behind in this one when Panzer's got an on goal. We got an equaliser. We made it 2-1 through, however. They made it 2-2 just after the break. And then with 11 minutes to go, J. Yana, or K. Yana, however, scored from right back a second goal. He's such a goal scorer in right back. It's unbelievable to get us the victory. I'm going to miss him next season. So we got to April and I was thinking, right, this is where I was going to come back for the games. But things were looking quite good. So we were still two points ahead of PSV Heidhoven and I was thinking let's play MVV and Ajax and then come back for the final three home games of the season plus the cup final against Feyenoord as well. Well the results have gone our way ladies and gentlemen. We won 2-0 against MVV away from home. Brusa and Balthazar Lopez coming back from injury and getting on the score sheet as Lopez. We then followed that up with a 1-0 victory away from home at Amsterdam. Yes at Ajax where Tony Leroy scored the only goal of the game to get us the three points. And it leaves us, ladies and gentlemen, in an amazing position. Right, there we are. PSV, in the last two games, have just thrown it away. That's right. They were on our coattails. Now they are way, way, way behind us. It is a seven-point gap between us. There's three games to go. So that means... A win against Sparta Rotterdam today will give us the title this season. Doesn't matter about any other result. If we get the win against Sparta Rotterdam today, we walk away with the Dutch title in our hands once again. But without further ado, let's get straight on to the match. We are playing at home against Sparta. And we're going to go and get the title. Come on! And here we go, we are in excellent form, as you know, since last time we were together, we are unbeaten in the league and obviously in the cup because we're in the final. Henk van Steer is their manager, I don't know who that is, and Sparta Rotterdam, I think, are safe. And they've not really got anything to play for, they're in 8th position at this moment in time. Their recent form has been decent. We are missing Skip today and Brewster has got a bit of an injury. Do we risk them? Do we risk Brewster? That's the question. And the answer to that is no, we're not going to go and risk Riyad Brewster in this game. We'd need him for the cup final. It'd be, it would break my heart if he got injured further and we had to miss him. But anyway, this is the team we're actually going to go with. We're going to go with Rini in goal. However, Leroy, Scherz and Panzer. We've got Amrabat as our ball winning midfielder in the place of the suspended skip. We've got Fred, Agumi, Gomez. Xerxes comes in as a complete forward and Baltasar Lopez up top. Come on, lads. Get the win. Bring on the title. So they're going for a 4-4-2. Quite, that's, that is, I think for the first time on, on our videos, I've been showing you that 
that is the first time I've seen a 442 in Holland. I'm not even joking. I'm actually shocked. On to the team talk, as always, coming there passionately. And I'm going to say to the lads, give the fans a performance they're expecting today. Go win the league. Then come in there nice and calmly and tell them they've got the difference. Go out there and do it, lads. Come on! Right, there is a corner to us. First highlight of the game. There's Joshua Zerxi, and we are off to an absolute flyer, ladies and gentlemen. It is 1-0 to the Venlo after seven minutes, and that is the perfect start for us. Ball into the box by Gumi. There is Xerxy off the bench for the injured Brewster, and he is filling into his shoes very, very nicely. What a start from us. The title is coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. Football's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home. Oh my god, here we go once again, here comes Gomez with the strike. My, I've just punched my microphone <laughs> and knocked it off its stands. Hang on a second, let me just pause this for a second. Pause the game, I need to just sort out, I know we've got a corner but I just need to sort out my, my microphone because I've just punched it while singing football's coming home. I think we're good. I think we're good. There. There. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the ball goes in again. And there's Joshua Zerxi for his second of the game. It's a carbon copy of the first goal. And Venlo are flying. Now, can we do footballs coming home again without actually punching our microphone this time? I think we're going to go for it. It's coming home. It's coming Football's coming home. Yes, there we go. <laughs> right, 19 minutes gone. We're 2-0 up. We're absolutely flying. Xerxes is on a hat trick. And here comes Joshua Xerxes again. He's running at the defence. He puts it in there. Lopez with the strike. He's bounced off. However, is that offside? It is. Oh. I actually noticed as well in the Bayern Munich Chelsea game in the Champions League recently, Xerxes was on the bench. I was absolutely bloody delighted. Oh my god, Sparta Rotterdam are definitely on the beach. They haven't even had a shot after 31 minutes so far. We are absolutely dominating this game. There's another corner. Fred this time puts it in there. Lopez is there with the header. It does go back to Leroy though. Leroy to Gomez who strikes here and it just goes ever so wide. And again, here we go. However to Fred. Back to however. However back to Fred. Fred the red. Gives it to however. However, back to Fred. They're just passing it amongst themselves. And here comes however with the ball into the box. It's Gomez who's trying to get in there. It's only a matter of time until we get the third and put this game to bed. And the title will be ours. It's Panzo. Oh, he puts it in there. The defender does get it clear. Shaws picks it back up, though. Per Shaws, the captain, does give the ball away there. But we're there again. It's Leroy. I'd love to sign Tony Leroy. The problem is, Standard Liège want £40 million for him. And here comes Lopez, though, into the box. No, Panzo puts it in there. There's Xerxes for the hat-trick, and he's done it. He's only scored eight goals this season, and he's scored three today. What a performance from him. <laughs> he's come in, he's gone, well, if Bruce is out injured, and we can't get him back for next season, then I want that shirt. I want to be the main man at Venlo next season. And we've had him long enough, haven't we, ladies and gentlemen, for him to be doing so. Anyway, he's got him won as the title today, single-handedly. He completes the hat-trick. Fantastic stuff. As we go into the break, then, it is 3-0 to us. And I'm going to say it, we've won the bloody title. It's a very, very easy game for us. I mean, it's better than a nail-biter, let's just say that. Go out there and prove a point, says our says Luke, Luke Nillis. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're 3 0 up. I don't know what point he's going to prove. We've got 30 minutes left on the clock. Here comes a corner from us once again. They still haven't had a single shot on goal today of Sparta Rotterdam. We have absolutely killed them off. They're saying that. Here they come forward, though. Are they going to get their first chance of the match? I think they're going to. It's a penalty. Classic football manager. Giving away a penalty with 20, 31 minutes left on the clock. The referee's got to go to VAR. Probably going to give the penalty. Panzo has dived in quite recklessly. And the ref is given the penalty. And their first shot on goal today is probably going to result in a, uh, in a goal. Here they go. Panzo gets a yellow. And Rotterdam could be back in it. It's Conor Horahan. Well, if anything, I'm quite happy to see Conor Horahan get on the score sheet. Well done, Conor. 
There he goes. Smashed it into the bottom corner. Absolute legend. There you go. Well done, Connor. Well done, lad. Well, I was going to change things up a little bit, but I'm just going to kind of... I was going to show... I was going to put up a few players onto the field. That might be their last time you're going to see them in a Venlo shirt. But I might just leave it. Unless we get a goal here. And then just completely finish it off. Here comes however into the box. Tries to put the cross in there. Was it an hand ball? No, it wasn't. And we lose the ball. Leroy tries to dive in there. Don't get yourself sent off, kid. And here come Rotterdam again. Coming forward. Horahan. And don't let these score. Don't let these get back into this game here. Christiansen does really, it doesn't do very well there. And Agumi picks up the cross that was blocked. Here comes Fred over the top. And here comes Baltasar Lopez. Lopez, can he finish it off? It's a good save by the goalkeeper. 20 minutes to go. I am going to do that change. I am going to make... I'm going to bring on a couple of lads that probably won't be in a Venlo shirt next season just to uh, just to give a final farewell to the fans. And we're going to do that right now. Right, OK. Let's have a quick look on the bench of a few lads that might not be here next season. So, actually, not actually that many. Cesar Kastovic can come on at right back because I don't think we're going to give him another loan deal at the club. He's only worth two and a half star current ability and potential ability and just don't think he's going to be good enough. Uh, Gianni Apelliani. I don't think I've actually even mentioned this guy. Well, he's going to be brilliant. He's an Italian under-21 international, and we brought him in as just a bit of a backup for us for the second half of this season. I don't think I actually even showed you, but he's going to get a game today anyway. Um, and let's have a look. Is there anyone else that we might be able to bring on here? Well, let's just bring Hevet Linus on, eh, for Amrabat, because he's just a club legend. VVV born and bred. And as we're making the subs, there's going to be a highlight here. And however, gives it back to Amrabat. Amrabat finds Fred to Gomez to Agumi, who's going to let fly. And he smashes it against the bar. And there's a bit of ping pong in the box. And they do get it away. And then the subs are going to come on. As I said, Kasovic, Apalioni, 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 and Lynnhurst of all come on to the pitch. I am actually going to try and get Apalioni in for next season as well at the minute I can't make him another loan sign here comes Gomez big save by the goalkeeper Leroy then save by the goalkeeper again and they do get it away ah oh. right as we now come down into stoppage time I have changed the camera up from 2D to 3D let's hope that we can see a trophy at the end of this game good luck everyone Literally seconds to go on the clock. Is the referee going to blow? I think he should do. Or is he going to wait until the ball comes back out of play or in play? The referee does blow. There we go. There we are. Venlo are champions once again. Catamol is there. I always bring him up. Head of youth development. Come here, Lee. Come here. It's all down to you, son. It's all down to you. See, people think I forget about Catamol, but he's not. He will be here forever. He's got a contract. If I could give him a 100-year contract, I bloody would do. Because he's the art and soul of VVV Venlo and this save. And we have now gone and won the title twice inside five seasons. It's a massive achievement from us. The big problem is next season is that we're going to lose our big players like Riyad Brusa, for instance. They're going to go back to Liverpool and we've got to do the Champions League once again. It's got a big, big old summer for us. I can't bloody wait. I am absolutely delighted that you've gone and won the league, lads, and so is Luke Nillis. Well, bloody Dan. There we go. There is confirmation that VVV Venlo have clinched the Arriva Divisibility title. I can still never say it, and I bloody never will do it. I should probably look it up and try and find out how you say it. But it was an hat trick from Xerxes. Got us off to the perfect start. A hat trick inside the first half, and he went and bloody did it. It was absolutely amazing today. I will give him some praise. But let's have a quick look at what everything has to be said to us. We've gone and won the title. Outstanding stuff. Two times in three years for Venlo. Fantastic. The crowd and the fans and the board are absolutely bloody delighted. There you go. They are happy. And there's loads of medals going out to loads and loads of players. And we've had a bid for us, one of our subkeepers. There you go. <laughs> but let's just go back to this one. We've done it. Actually, let's look at this one. Two times in three years, eh? Absolutely outstanding stuff. Played under the guidance of fans' favourite, Captain Birdieman FM. They've now lifted the trophy two times in the last three years. And I think that is an incredible achievement. For a club like Venlo, ah, amazing stuff.
especially like you just got to think where we started and some of the players that we had at the beginning of this save. And now we've got players like Brewster, Fred, Agumi, Pershaw's at the back, Panzo. It's incredible stuff. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you right here because this season is not over and done with just yet. We have got a massive cup final coming up. Our first ever in five seasons Dutch cup final against Feyenoord. For some weird reason, we're playing at Feyenoord. But we've got to beat them many times this season. So we can do it again. I'm not going to bring you that game in this episode. It's going to come on the next episode. It's going to be a cup final special. Because we've got to play Vitesse in between that. And I'm going to skip through that really quickly. Get to that game and then bring it to you live on camera. No point in bringing you the uh, Aaron Veen game. This is the last game of the season in the league. We've won the league. Now let's go and win the cup. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. If you have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up at the bottom of the page. And if you are a new viewer to these videos and you are not a subscriber, then please head over to my YouTube channel, Captain Bellyman FM, and press that subscribe button. I want to give a massive shout out to the lads over at Passion for FM for their continued support this year with my Football Manager YouTube videos. If you want to be part of our FM community, then just go into the description below and click on the relative links that I've got out there. If you want to stay up to date with everything that I'm up to, Captain Birdie Man FM on Twitter, go and give me a follow. But you know the drill, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back in another day, couple of days' time for the Cup Final Special. Bye-bye. Champions again. Come on, the boys in yellow.